The success stories of literature evangelism in the Southern Africa Indian Ocean Division would not be complete without the story of Prince and Rosemary. What looked like a happy marriage was almost destroyed by Prince's daily drinking and smoking habits. It took just the printed page from Elijah, a Seventh-day Adventist literature evangelist, to restore their marriage. Prince was running a successful garage servicing government vehicles and those of other high-profile business people. But beer drained all his finances. One day when Prince was under distress trying to fix his client's vehicles, Elijah approached him and sold him the Bible. And the rest is history, as Prince bought all the literature books that Elijah had. The books were worth over 15,000 Rand, and for Prince, it's a spiritual wealth that he will ever cherish. I'm a, I'm an orphan. I don't have a mother. I don't have a father. So that time when I hear these laws and what what, I think that was my my one of my first priority why I love Adventists because there was this law. This law will guard me. You understand? It will keep me as a innocent you understand because i used to go there and there and there i don't have any law which guide me so by the time when i found adventist it was my father and my mother now because i am guarded the holy spirit continued to minister to prince and from there onwards elijah was persistent with bible studies with the family and today as we speak prince and his wife are back together and are now baptized members of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. In the first place, it's not easy to change a person's um, life, but I've witnessed God work in people's life. And this convinces me that God is working with me as, as a person. To the literature evangelist, I just want to say thank you very much. You really saved my marriage, my kids' life, like my husband's life and our, it was really nice to be an Adventist. I really feel happy. Even my heart is open. Now I'm free. You know, I don't have any heavy, like heavy things, heavy loads that I'm carrying in my shoulders. To put a cherry on top of the cake, Prince has been blessed with another garage to carry on with his motor mechanic business. Prince and Rosemary attribute their success to their faithfulness in returning God's tithe. What happened is, I didn't know about this tithe thing until I read uh, another book which was telling me tithe. Uh, actually tithe is to return, it's not paying. Mm. It's not my money, mm. it's God's money. Looking at this miracle, it's clear that the power of the printed page should never be underestimated. And our leaders are testimony to that. The literature ministry has been doing great things in this world since the Lord himself initiated it. Right now we've just watched a testimony of a family that was transformed completely from what they used to be into saints who are now preparing for the coming kingdom. Talking about the days when I was a student at Solusi, I went out sailing with Pastor Nguaru and we, the Lord was with us all the way. And years later, when I had become president at Zuku, I went to Harare and I went to a church. I've forgotten the name of the church. And there was this choir conductor, powerful. I mean, he conducted the choir and they sang so beautifully. I loved the music. But when they mentioned his name, I remember this is, we had a person like that who was a soccer star. So after the service, I went to him and I asked, uh, are you the same person who was a, a soccer star years back? And he said, yes. Then I said to him, tell me, how did you become an Adventist? He says, oh, it's a long story. Two guys came to our office to sell books, one tall, one short. And they sold me two books, a big Bible and a, 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 a small book entitled Your Bible and You. I read that book 
and the Bible, and it spoke to me. I found the message of the Sabbath. I found Christ in there, and today I am a choir director, and I've also served in this church as an ordained elder. That's the powerful story of what our literature can do. It does work when we are sleeping in our houses, the book still preaches. That's the story of my experience as a literature evangelist. The printed page was what helped launch the Seventh-day Adventist Church. From the very beginning, even before it was a church, a little paper printed with truth-filled information was circulated and people responded. Even today, and even more so today, the publishing work is vital to the outreach of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. We thank God for the literature evangelists who are so dynamically involved in sharing the word door to door, helping people to find the three angels' messages and the news about Jesus soon coming. With the total member involvement, the Southern Africa Indian Ocean Division is poised for greater things, and we praise God for the harvest.